What's going on everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and tonight we're going to be talking about a brand new animated lightning camo for Modern Warfare 3, what event it could be tied to, plus even more surprises, definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, I want to thank all you guys out there for all your support on today's episode of the Bombshell Podcast, episode 116 was an absolute blast talking about Black Ops 6, Season 3 Reloaded, and a ton more, that'll be linked down below, every episode is always available in the public Bombshell playlist here on my channel. Now, the podcast may go on hiatus for a good two weeks as I am going out of town next weekend and even the following one but we may end up pre-recording an episode with a guest or two so i'll keep you guys posted with that now as a reminder earlier this morning i did post a separate video talking about the golden week event which just went live in wars of mobile for those out there that are interested in that game that's also linked down below but as always bomb show is powered by detonated.com for those who want to stay up to date with all things call of duty we got you covered on the website with new articles for multiplayer wars and zombies and just about everything else as of today we finally got the release of the devin booker bundle for those out there that care about cosmetics it got delayed from its original May 1st release date. Not sure what went wrong there, but a minor trailer did release for the pack as well. And it's the second NBA collaboration with Call of Duty. The first one was last year in Mono Warfare 2 with Kevin Durant. So this pack does look pretty cool, as I talked about before in previous videos. For those wondering what's going on with the Clown Circus Freak pack, for whatever reason, that was supposed to release in the first half of Season 3, but it didn't. Not sure when it got delayed until, since we don't have any official release dates from COD via the blog post about any bundles. Now, the leakers did find a couple of dates, which I covered in a video linked down below, my previous one going over all mid-season packs, but the Circus Freak pack wasn't mentioned in that list, so not sure what's going on there, but I will keep you guys posted. I want to start off by talking about the brand new Weapon Prestige camels, which got introduced with Season 3 Reloaded. So, unexpectedly, September added in a whole new progression system with the mid-season update, and I didn't expect to see this at all. Thankfully, none of this was leaked, so it was a nice surprise for everybody out there in the community. If you have a weapon maxed out, so if you got the max max level for that weapon, you have access to this specific weapon prestige challenge. For this season, it is a challenge for the one trick animated camo, which requires you to get 150,000 total weapon XP on that weapon after you hit max level with it. You do not have to unlock the other mastery camos for the weapon to gain access to this camo unlock. It's a really cool looking camo and it's on a per weapon basis, so you can unlock this camo for multiple weapons at once, only one weapon at a time, but that's a big grind for those out there that want to go through unlocking this camel for every single weapon category inside of Modern Warfare 3, that'll take you a while. It's definitely a big grind that'll last you an entire season. And this weapon camel is meant to be unlocked and usable for Modern Warfare 2 weapons as well. But as of right now, it's currently bugged. It should be fixed at some point soon. But we got confirmation of a season six from this new weapon prestige camel menu since they're gonna be releasing a new camel like this once a season. But there's gonna be a catch to that too. In order to get the next season's weapon prestige camo, you have to have unlocked the last season's camo. So in this case, it's the one trick camo for the weapon you're trying to get the new camo for. Hopefully that's really clear. But I'm honestly crossing my fingers that we get a lot of new systems like this over in Black Ops 6. Crossing my fingers for weekly challenges, weekly challenge events, a bunch of free camos that you can earn. Uh, even after market parts, maybe in the form of operator mods like we saw in Black Ops 4. And we'd love to see this weapon prestige camo system also brought back in just about every COD. I feel like this is a good feature to either start introducing with Season 1 and beyond, or even midway through the game's life cycle introducing a new camel grind since people out there typically speed run through all their mastery camels within the first month of a game's release it's a nice refresh to see a call of duty add in a new mastery camel grind halfway through the game cycle similar to obsidian from modern warfare 2019 now my question is whether or not this was the promised grand mastery reward which sledgehammer did tease in a recent season 3 creator call they went ahead and mentioned to us that they are working on or looking into providing players with some type of acknowledgement or reward for having unlocked all the mastery camels in modern warfare 3 not sure if this also is applying to the mastery that carries forward from Modern Warfare 2. So, for example, will you get a big reward for having unlocked Orion and Interstellar? Or will it just be Interstellar and Borealis? Or will they go crazy with it and say, hey, if you got Orion, uh, Bioluminescent, Interstellar, and Borealis, we'll give you one new big camel grind or just one grand reward? I'm curious how they're going to do it, but it's also possible that for unlocking all weapon prestige camos for a certain weapon, you can also get a bonus reward at the end of this game cycle after Season 6. Totally up in the air, but I'm sure whatever they were referring to in that call is separate from this weapon prestige camel system. I want to talk about this really cool looking animated lightning camo, which just got data mined with the launch of Season 3 Reloaded. The usual leakers over on Twitter did post plenty of footage of this camo in game. None of the footage has been taken down or DMCA claimed, so it should be safe to talk about here inside of a video and even in some detonated coverage. The camo looks phenomenal. Now, I keep saying this every so often whenever we see a new animated camo. I'm like, wait a second, the camo looks nearly better than the mastery camos inside 
of the base game and is arguably one of the best free animated camos we've ever seen. Now, it's always possible that they could lock a camo behind a bundle. That's never really happened before, at least not in some of the recent CODs, where a new flashy animated camo gets put inside of a 2400 COD point pack. We've seen very plain and base looking camos put in bundles, but animated ones thus far have been locked behind weekly challenge unlocks, uh, weekly events, and other special hidden rewards that get put inside of LTMs. Now, the camo doesn't have a name as of right now, so we're just going to call it Lightning or Electric Current, whatever you want to call it, but the camo itself does look pretty impressive. It's very flashy, almost as crazy as the Ghoulie camo from The Haunting last year, but the leakers out there have said that it's considered a special unlock. Now, take that with a grain of salt because there's definitely camos that are put in the wrong categories within MW3. Like, for example, the Rotten Inferno animated camo is listed under Special when it should be listed under Event Camo, since that's where all the other weekly unlock camos do go. So this being labeled as a special camo doesn't really mean much right now, but it may be tied to an event. Now, I want to remind you that another special hidden camo that got added recently was That's a Lot of Molecules. That's the camo you got for winning a game of High Trip Resurgence, an LTM that's no longer in the game. So if this camo is a special unlock, what event could it be tied to? And is it an event that's releasing before Season 4 or at some point later? We're going to circle back to a bunch of other leaked camos that still haven't come out yet in just a few minutes. I want to point out this event that is coming out at some point in Season 3, and it's something called the High Voltage Experience. This is an LTM coming to Rebirth on Warzone Mobile, and before you guys say, oh, I don't care, it's Warzone Mobile, let me point this out. So as it says, massive lightning storms are wrecking havoc over Rebirth in this limited time high voltage mode. Operators who get struck by lightning will grow more powerful by earning a random perk. Meanwhile, Viking runes have been spotted throughout Verdansk. Will you keep them intact or risk destroying them for their rewards? That sounds like a lot of fun, and it's definitely a Warzone Mobile experience, but with something as cool as high voltage, that really would play very well on console and PC. So what I'm guessing is going to happen is not only will this event drop for Warzone Mobile, or maybe it is just for Warzone Mobile, but when you do something in this high voltage LTM for Rebirth, there could be a secret challenge or a series of challenges. And then once you go ahead and complete whatever that is, you can get this animated camo unlock. What are the odds that we have this crazy flashy looking animated lightning camo? And in the same season, there's also a high voltage lightning mode for Warzone Mobile. Now, the good news is that even if the mode is exclusive to mobile and doesn't come to the main rebirth on console and PC, you could still get a camo unlock that you can use in every single game. And that's been a real big flaw with Warzone Mobile, especially with my coverage of it the last couple of weeks, is that everything that's come out for mobile has been exclusive to mobile. None of the rewards are transferable into the main game, even though we all thought from day one when the game got marketed that just about everything that would get added into mobile would be transferable into the main series, unlike COD Mobile, a completely different experience that sits in its own corner. So it's totally a possibility that by doing something in the mobile event, you get a camo unlock that you can use in all game modes, or it's even possible that the high voltage rebirth experience also comes to the main game, although that hasn't been leaked yet, so it's kind of unlikely. It would be cool if that mode, which sounds fantastic by the way, comes to the mainline series and you can also unlock the camo by playing rebirth high voltage or whatnot. And then we can also point out something that's certainly possible, but I hope isn't the case, which is that this camo is tied to something completely separate from the high voltage LTM that's coming during season three reloaded. Now, I made a video a couple of weeks ago talking about these other camels that have also leaked out and they just aren't tied to anything that's been announced yet. There's that windfall camel, which looks absolutely incredible. That one seems more like an event one. I would say the lightning camel seems like it would be a special unlock through winning a game of an LTM, but that windfall camel looks pretty crazy. Kind of gives vibes of like gambling or slot machines, something like some high roller limit type of experience. Not sure what that would look like in COD. I'm not sure if it's a mode or an event that has a cool theme. That is coming at some point. I doubt that a camel that cool got scrapped, but there's other camels like the one that was supposed to be for uh, the Warhammer collaboration, one for St. Paddy's Day. Those could be scrapped indefinitely, but there's some other camels that don't have any names to them that also look pretty phenomenal. I'm going to guess those could be weekly camel unlocks, could be just dropped through random bundles, could be released through random weekly events that come out over the course of the summer. There's definitely a lot of camels left, but one in particular that I'm going to point out and remind you guys about is this animated camel in particular, the polished camel. This was supposed to release with soap during season five of modern warfare 2 but that faction showdown event ended up concluding in favor of shadow company not task force 141 so both soap the hawk looking skin and that animated camo got vaulted forever right the soap skin still gets seen in marketing here and there but that animated camo just popped up again according to leakers in modern warfare 3's files so that one should be coming out at some point soon but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on the brand new animated lightning camo coming to modern warfare 3 what event do you guys think it's really tied to plus let me know how you're feeling 
feeling about the new weapon prestige camos really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody